The polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, is an alternative to cloning for isolating a DNA sequence. PCR can selectively amplify a single copy of a desired sequence that is present in a complex mixture of other DNA molecules. In this example, a mixture of genomic DNA molecules, shown as blue ribbons, contains the sequence we wish to amplify called the target sequence, shown in green. With PCR, we can make billions of copies of the target sequence without having to purify it beforehand. In the first cycle of PCR, the DNA molecules are melted by raising the temperature to 95 degrees. After the strands have separated, the temperature is lowered to 60 degrees so that a pair of short oligonucleotide primers specific for the three prime ends of the target sequence can bind, one primer on each strand. The primers then direct a DNA polymerase called TAC to synthesize the complementary DNA strands from free nucleotides. In the entire mixture of genomic DNA molecules, only DNA containing the target sequence is copied because the TAC polymerase can only copy molecules that have a primer attached. At the end of cycle one, both strands of the genomic DNA molecule have been copied to form two partially double-stranded DNA molecules. In the next cycle, the same steps are repeated. DNA duplexes are again melted by heating to 95 degrees. Since TAC polymerase has the special property of being thermal stable, it is not inactivated at this high temperature. The primers anneal to the target when the temperature is lowered, and the target strands are extended by the TAC polymerase. The temperature can be raised to 72 degrees to speed this reaction. At the end of cycle two, four partially double-stranded molecules are produced. All contain the target sequence plus some adjacent DNA. During the third cycle, the DNA strands are again melted. The primers hybridize to the target sequence and the TAC polymerase synthesizes complementary DNA strands. Cycle three produces two doubly stranded molecules that contain only the target sequence, as well as six longer molecules that contain the target and flanking sequence. In subsequent cycles, the number of target sequence molecules will increase exponentially. At cycle four, the DNA strands are melted, the primers anneal, and the DNA strands are copied as in the previous cycles. Eight copies of the target molecule and eight longer molecules are produced. In cycle five, the heating annealing and synthesis steps are repeated. By the end of cycle five, there are 22 target molecules and 10 longer ones. The number of target sequences continues to grow exponentially at each cycle. By the end of cycle 30, the target sequence has grown to more than a billion double-stranded target molecules, whereas there are only 60 copies of the longer DNA molecules. This means that the final product is virtually pure target sequence. Thus, like cloning, PCR selectively generates a large number of copies of a desired DNA sequence from the original mixture of DNA sequences.